Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. We fly on to thee. Oh Lord, we fly on to thee. Oh Lord, among the Lord, oh, it's like thee. Glorious in holiness, careful and precious. Don't want us, hallelujah. We fly on to thee. Oh Lord, we fly on to thee. Oh Lord, among the God, who oh, is like thee. Glorious in holiness, faithful in places. Don't want us a little. Yeah, we are here again. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Amen. We are here again. Here again. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Amen. We are here again. Here again. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Amen. We are here again. Here again. We are here again. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Amen. Let's open our mouth. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's thank God. Let's appreciate Him. Let's thank Him because of what He is. Let's thank Him because He has never changed. Let's thank Him because of His mercy upon every one of us. Let's glorify His name, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the mighty one in battle. He has been with us and He will continue to be with us. Let's pray him. Let's pray him. Let's pray him. Open your mouth. Call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth. Call upon the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The mighty one in battle. He has never left us alone. He will not leave us alone. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's worship him. 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 Let's glorify him. Oh, mighty Father, the Lord of Lord, the King of kings. Let's go, let's open our mouth, let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's can let's what let's let, let's open our mouth. It's worthy of our praises. It's worthy of our praises. Let's worship him. Let's glorify his name. The Lord of Lord. The mighty one in battle. He has never failed. He will not fail. Remember the January? He see you too. February, he see you too. March, he see you too. April, he see you too. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, may he has seen you too. June, July, August, September, October, November. Here we are, December. Won't you just sing a song of praise to Almighty God? I want us, everyone of us, to raise our voice. Raise the song. I want us, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to open our mouth and each individual, the song that ever comes to your mouth. I want you, and then this is where you will know how to praise the name of the Lord. Remember when you seek and God heal you. Look at the amount of money you are spent in the hospital. But he lay his hand upon you, and as a result of that, you are ill. Remember when your son travel, and you look up, you look down. You are expecting the child. You say, when is the child is going to come? Praise the Lord. Pastor Ali, please give me two yes, minutes. Uh, just that? give me two minutes. Give me two minutes. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, and then if you look up, you look down, and then the, uh, you assert the child, but the child has not been around. But by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the child comes 
safely. Remember when you look at your wife and you see like, Oh, mighty father, what am I passing through in my family? When are you going to solve this problem? Am I going to continue with this agony? But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you look at the agony. Agony by today is no more day. Remember when the, school, the child is in school. And it's like, how am I going to pay this school fees? How am I going to be my grandson? They are giving me a bad report about him. Oh, uh. But and how am I going to solve this problem? But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you look back, those problems are no more there. My dear sister, my dear brother and the Lord, I want you to look at a very song that you think you can use to praise the name of the Lord, to, to dance like David. To able to say, God, for what you have done. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you, O oh Lord. Let every one of us online open our mouth and praise the name of the Lord. You song. Open, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Any song that comes to your mouth, open your mouth. In the individual. Open your mouth and, and start praising the name of the Lord. Start praising the Lord. What can I say? All to the Lord. All I have to say. Is thank you, Lord. What can I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you. Lord. I'm not hearing your song. I'm not hearing your song. I'm not hearing your song. I'm not hearing you singing. You remember how David, how David sang? He was singing, and the people are saying, the one was saying, still this foolish thing. But there you are. You remember what God has done for you. Open your mouth, right. praise the name of the Lord. Open the name of the Lord. What can I say? Oh, to the Lord. All I have to say is thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What Amen. Oh, Amen. 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 Let me continue. I will get in touch. Please, I will get in touch. Let us continue. Let us continue. Let us continue to praise the name of the Lord. Let's continue to praise the name of the Lord. Let's continue to worship Him. Let's continue to glorify His name. Let's continue to glorify His name. Let's continue to glorify His name. Let's continue to praise the name of the Lord. He is Lord of all, the mighty one in battle. The Lord has never changed, and He will not change. Let's praise Him. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to pray in the name of the Lord because of what God has been doing for you, especially in Deeper Life Bible Church. When you look at, I, you know, I only tell many people that I need to pray in the name of the Lord because of the church God has given uh, me, because of the church I am, for what God has been doing. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ for every one of us when we look back. We will see how mighty thing God has bestowed upon us for coming so far in deeper life Bible church. What, because of what? Because of the holiness message? Because of what? Because of sanctification? Because of what? Because of the messages about baptism of Holy Spirit. I want you to praise the name of the Lord because of the church, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the gate of hell will not prevail in Jesus' name. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, oh my Father, we pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the gate of hell shall not prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. That the, the, the gate of hell shall not in the name of Jesus Christ. That the gate of hell shall not be written in the name of Jesus Christ. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, no more among us, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will fall. We will not fall to the hand of the enemy. We will not fall to the hand of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. 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 That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the grace of the Lord will be upon us. The mighty 
the hand of the Lord will be your call. Oh, let's call upon him. Let's call upon him. Let's call upon him. That God will continue to upgrade the, up, 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 up the church in the name of Jesus Christ. That the Lord, the Lord will continue to uphold the church in the name of Jesus Christ. That the mighty hand of the Lord will continue to uphold the church in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We have two, three pastors online. We, I'm, I'm apologizing. Uh, the matter, no, no. I just received a message on what we are need to pray for. It, it, the message come unexpectedly, so I need to quickly take total control. So I'm appealing to all our three pastors. I think we may have more than three pastors online that they should mm-hmm. kindly forgive me. I just received a message. Uh, that um, some things we need to pray for, which is very, very urgent. So please kindly uh, forgive me, all the pastors that is online. God is going to take control in Jesus' name. Let's call mm-hmm. upon the name of the Lord for the December retreat. As December retreat is coming, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God is going to take total control in Jesus' name. I want you to open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Pastor, and please please stay online, but by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, yes, sir, the... you can take over, take over. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep on praying. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's pray. Let's pray that this retreat that is coming God we manifest His power in this retreat. God is going to move in this retreat. Open your mouth and pray that the Lord will deliver souls in this retreat. Jesus, the final solution. He is the final solution to the problem of your family. Jesus, the final solution. He is the final solution in your home, in your life. Talk to God in prayer. That this coming December retreat will be a retreat of a different. The Lord will take those who have to be converted. There will be transformation. There will be visitation. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I, I was just coming from Bagada at the headquarter church in Deeper Life in, in Nigeria, in Lagos. We have a planning, a planning for the retreat section. And all the key needs that we are here this morning. Uh, we just finished the meeting, and then we are done, I'm just back now. The meeting, the retreat is going to be loaded. I'm going to give some prayer points that we pray at Bekada today. Number one, we are going to pray that in all our campgrounds, all over the life, that as, as, as we enter that campground, the Lord will save sinners. Those will be saved. There will be deliverance. There will be liberation. God be salvation. Open the mouth and pray right now. Open the mouth and pray. Today, at the retreat, let's call upon the Lord that God will save souls in all of our campgrounds. God will save souls in all of our campgrounds. At this point, the retreat, the power of God will save souls in all of our campgrounds. Jesus is the final solution. Solution to man's problem. Jesus is the final solution. Solution to man's challenge. Let's call upon the Lord of all the souls. All for the souls in the All for the souls in the All for the souls in the in the name of Jesus, let us say a call upon the Lord that souls be saved and they should be In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By the grace of God, at the, at the, at the meeting, we also pray for our GS. We pray for all the seminarians as well and all the officiating of ministers. We are going to pray in all our camp grants. Now, general prayer now, in all our camp grants, in this, in this December retreat. Our GS God will strengthen him. Mm-hmm. And all the of the city ministers, they have the, the, that the Lord has will rest upon them. The power of God will walk upon their lives. Open mm-hmm. your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. I believe in the different platform. I will need to pray the Lord and pray for the Lord. That all the ministers of the ministers of the ministry of the Lord. Power. 
Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for the church in the United States, in Charlotte Church over there. No. We are going to pray in that, in, in that, in that church that the camp ground of, of that location, of that, of that region, the God will be present at their camp ground. Specific prayer now for Charlotte Church and the camp ground over there. We are going to pray that God will, pull, will move the people, we bring all our invitees. That mm-hmm. as they attend the retreat, all these all the problems in their life, Jesus, the final solution, they will solve all their problems for them. Oh, you're about to pray right now. Talk to God in prayer. Talk to God in prayer. Talk to God in prayer. The child of God and their return, their return to that year in their camp plan, then the Holy Ghost will move mightily. Then the power of God will move mightily. And all our neighbor we have invited them to attend that program. As they go, Jesus will them find a solution. They will stop all their problems. As they go, Jesus will them find a solution. They will break everything out of them. And the Jesus, the 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 in we pray. We are going to pray. Now, the Bible says, give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Give us help from trouble. You are going to pray for yourself, because it is you God is going to use. You are going to pray for yourself and for your household, for your family. That God will say help to you. Help when there is no help. God will raise help. He will send help. God will give you help. All the trouble, Jesus, the final solution will stop it. Give us help from trouble. Any trouble you are going through, any trouble you are experiencing in your home, in your life, in your family, let God send help to you. Let God send help to you. In the name of Jesus, give us help from trouble. For faith is the help of man. God of the Lord. Whatever, whatever hope you are going through, God will give you help. Jesus is the final solution. God will send help. Help to the nation. In the name of Jesus. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask the Lord. The Lord will send air. The Lord will send us air. Yes. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. We are still praying. Pastor, 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 Let's call okay. upon, upon the Lord. Give us air from trouble. For vain is the air of man. I, I went to talk to God in prayer right now. That God will send air to us. God will send air, air to us. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's pray. Let's pray. This coming retreat, Jesus, Jesus is the final solution. This coming retreat, that all the problems we are having in life, Jesus will bring solution to it. The Lord will send air to us. Literal help, physical help, material help. The Lord will send us air. Give us air from trouble. From faith is the air of man. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's talk to God in prayer. The Lord will give us help. Air from trouble. Give me your control by your mighty power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are still praying, my brother, you are going to pray for yourself. That in this Christian race you are running, that God will give you more grace to run and to finish well. God will send grace for you to run and finish well. Oh, we must pray. Call upon the Lord. 
that God will give you grace to run at this way. In the name of Jesus. He that has a job to end in this activity. Let's pray that God will take grace, give you grace, and run at this way. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. That the Lord will give us grace. The grace of God at the finish way. The grace of God before this for life. The grace of God will protect you. God will take grace into your life. You will walk to this way. You will preach of God's Lord in the name of Jesus. Do not stop the way that we are in the name of Jesus. Let's pray, let's ask, let's talk to the Lord. Oh God, give me grace. Give me grace. Give me grace. Abundant grace. Sufficient grace. All the type of grace. Receive grace, my Father. Receive grace, my sister. Let's call upon the Lord that God will give us grace in our life. In the name of Jesus. God will say grace into our life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. No thing will talk about and trade in the month in the season. Give me a good talk to you. 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 I want to announce to you in the house that by the grace of God, this platform is set for our spiritual upliftment and for the brethren for the church over there. That is, this platform was set up. That is why we are, we are taking much time to pray for our spiritual need. God, we are so centered upon our physical need in this platform. And the Lord is not happy with us. And we are going to pray so much about our spiritual, our spiritual life of it. If we have all the physical blessing. But the spiritual life is not there. We will be the most miserable. And it's why by the, why by the grace of God, I'm called, I call to announce to you in the house. That, and again, we shall spend time to pray for our, our life, our soul, mm-hmm. our spirit. You are going to pray for yourself that the Lord will renew your inner mind. That God take other people to back up, to back up at the wrong time, not, not, not come upon you. That the Lord will renew your mind. So strengthen you the inner mind. You will not back up. You will not, you will not take that. You, you will not back up. You will not pray. What we call the prayer. God should renew your inner mind. Say, oh God, renew my inner mind. Renew my inner mind. Renew my inner mind. In the name of Jesus. Let the God of heaven come to your life to renew you. For strengthen you. For energize you. Every weakness in your soul. Every weakness in your mind. Let us not if you are a member of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry, you will understand the church based emphasis on holiness, on righteousness, on purity, spirituality, spirituality. The church based emphasis on it so much. That is why we are, we are trying all the preaching our Father in the Lord has been teaching us. We are key into it. And that is why in this prayer online, we are bringing back the prayer online to spiritual aspect of our life. The Bible says without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. You are going to pray that God will reign righteousness in your life. You'll be full of holiness. 
Oh, we establish in righteousness, holiness of life, conduct and character, and purity of human praise. All upon the Lord, that let God establish in righteousness. We in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are very close to our GS, Pastor W. Kumuyi, you will understand. That man has vision for souls. He has vision for souls. Evangelism. Reaching out to say that is, that is the calling of God for this ministry. Holiness and evangelism. My brother, my sister, the year is going to an end. Do we have any sort of project to the Lord? Any soul you have, any sort of project to God, you are going to pray. Before this year ended, God will give you a soul. You will say, oh God, give me a soul. Give me a soul winner. Evangelism, the fire of the evangelism to come into your life. All of the Lord. That <laughs> Amen. In fact, on Tuesday, on Tuesday at the headquarters in Nigeria here at, at Bagada, by the grace of God, our DS, oh, that is Upper Tuesday on the 26th of November, Upper Tuesday, our DS releases anointing upon all the ministers. He released mm. he, there's an invitation. Mm. And he told us that invitation is to go and preach. He so that what he is doing, we should be doing it as well. That is why we are going mm. to pray. That the Lord will release his anointing upon your life. Power upon your life. Power to do as well. The anointing of the Holy Ghost will come upon your life. Open your mouth and pray that God will anoint you. 
let the Holy Ghost anoint you. Pray for anointing in your life. I expect all the pastors in one way. All the pastors in one way. Pray for your father for you. I 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 will not take much of your time, and by the grace of very soon I will round up. We may not use up to one hour today, but then the prayer we are praying is because number one, we are praying so much about ourselves, about self, 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 self on this platform. We are praying about marriage, about husband, about wife, about God. We are praying so much, and God is not happy. We are praying so much on, on ourselves. Self. What about kingdom war? Kingdom, kingdom, kingdom war. You are going to pray once again that, oh God, make me a soul winner. That is what God is interested in. If you are a child, you are not praying for God is not happy. If you are a soul, you are not, you are not praying for you are not, you are not preaching. You are not praying for God is not happy. You are going to pray that God will make you a soul winner. A soul winner for Jesus. That the anointing of the Holy Ghost will end your life in your life. Oh, you must have prayed. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. The anointing to end your life. The power to bring the God before it's your life. God created you. God called you for a purpose. Call upon the Lord. Let the anointing of God come into your life. As you see, you have no soul. The years of my age. From January to December, you have no soul of the to God. No comfort. No soul. No soul. You don't need to of the to God Almighty. So, in revelation, with all the gifts of the world we have received. Let's pray. Also, I want to announce before Pastor Nathaniel come and take over. I want to announce, please, I hope I'm saying this publicly now, to so all our official ministers in this platform, all the pastors that used to need us in this platform, let's base our prayer points on the spiritual needs of the people. We are praying enough of physical and material blessings. And God is not happy. Let's face our prayer on the spiritual access and also the church of the living God. We are praying so much on marriage, husband, wife, job. You are not, we are praying too much on that. Let's, let's reposition ourselves this time around. And let's, and let's, let's operate like a deeper life. Let's not, let's not be operating like Red Garden Church, CSC Church, and other ministry. This deeper life platform. And let's keep to the standard. Let's keep to the word of God. We, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are preaching. We are, we are needing. So please, all the pastors on this platform, whoever that is coming to need us, coming to need us, let's base our prayer request on the spiritual need of the people and the church, the church of the living God. And I pray that as we do that, God will help us and the Lord will take care of us. He gives us the kingdom of God and His righteousness. The Bible says, and every other thing shall be added. Let us not run after the, mat- after, the, after the material things before we run to the spiritual. Let's seek the spiritual life of our brethren. As we do so, God will help us. As we do so, God will actually give us the victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I also, 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 I, want to, I want to advise all our uh, sisters and brothers in this platform, wherever any of our pastors come to need us in prayer, Let's cooperate. Let's not say it's Pastor So and So is in this one. I will not I will not pray. If Pastor So and So come, I will pray. Let's talk all those things. Let's not let's not let's not look at the Corinthian church. I'm a four, I'm a the Apollo. 
Let's be united. Amen. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, um, Pastor, uh, Pastor Nathaniel, are you still online? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice and begin to say thank you, Father. Thank you. Begin to appreciate the Lord. Begin to say thank you, Lord, because I am alive today. Begin to appreciate God because you are alive. Say God and thank you. Say God and thank you. Say God and thank you. God and thank you. Because I'm alive today, I say thank you. God and thank you. Why not thank the Lord because you are alive? Today, I appreciate his holy name. Find his holy name. Give praise to his holy name. Find the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice and pray and talk to the Lord. Oh God, I thank you. Thank you because I'm alive today. Pray and talk to the Lord. 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 Oh God, thank you. Oh Lord, Lord, thank you. Oh, oh Lord, Lord, I thank you. Oh God, I thank you. Oh Lord, Lord, I thank you. Oh God, I thank you. Oh Lord, I thank you. Oh God, I thank you. I thank you because you are alive. Thank you for her. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank God, I thank you. Thank the name of the Lord. I appreciate Jesus. I appreciate the King of Kings. I appreciate the Lord of Lords. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Lord, thank the 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 Lord, thank Jesus, 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 I said, Lord, thank you, Jesus, thank you. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, thank you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you. Father, Lord, thank you. I say, thank you, Jesus, I give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. As we have prayed earlier now about the forthcoming retreats, we have also prayed for ourselves, but the Lord wants us to pray more. You will pray, you will talk to the Lord. Lord, whatever that will deviate me from following you, whatever that will make me to be deviated from, from, from trusting you and from following you, Lord, hold my hand. Help me never to be deviated from following after you. Lift up your voice and pray and talk to the Lord. Whatever that will deviate you from following the Lord, whatever that will make you from following the Lord, help me never to deviate. Help me never to be dropped. Help me never to be dropped. Lift up your voice and pray and talk to the Lord. That is to help you. Oh, Lord Jesus, Lord, help you. Oh, Lord, help you. Oh, Lord, help you. Lord, <laughs> Away from me, Lord, we take it away. Father Lord, take it away. And Father Lord, help me to stand still. Father Lord, help me to follow you to the end. Anything we take, we make my journey happy. Lord, take it away. Mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want someone to please open his Bible to Ezra chapter 3. Ezra. Ezra is after Second Chronicles. Please, a fast reader. Ezra chapter 3. I want to believe we are all seated and not lying down because I know some of us just woke up in over there in the U.S. Please, let's be seated. Let's sit up. Ezra chapter 3, reading from verse 4. 
who is reading for us. Ezra chapter 3, reading from verse 4. Who is reading for us? They kept also the feast of the it is written. And the I'm not hearing you. Can you please speak up? Let me hear you well. They kept also the Feast of Tabernacles. Sorry, I still can't hear you. Can you please speak up? Put the phone close to your mouth. Exodus chapter 3, verse 4. They kept also the Feast of Tabernacles, as it is written, and offered the daily burnt offerings by a number, according to the custom, as the duty of every day required. Amen. 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 They kept also the feast of the tabernacles, as it is written, and offered the daily bond offering by number, according to the custom, as the daily of as the duty of every day required. Uh, I, as the year is coming to an end now, and as we are approaching a new year ahead of us. By the grace of God, I pray for everyone on this online prayer. Every one of us will live to see the new year in Jesus' name. Amen. But the Lord is requiring something from us, from where we have just read in the latter part. The Lord is expecting us to take, to make our life a daily duty of every day required. He said, as the duty of every day required. Is requiring us to, to set our life right with Him, to make our life right with Him. And this very day, this morning or afternoon, I want to ask you a question. When, if the road is called up yonder now, think about your life. Where will you spend eternity? If the rapture should, should sound now, or perhaps death come knocking at your door, where you are, on the bed, in your room, on the chair, even at work, or even I don't name where, wherever you are. If death come knocking now, where do you think you will spend eternity? Lift up your voice and talk to the Lord. Cry unto the Lord. Lord, hold my hands. Hold my hands to the very end. Hold my hands to the end of this race. I must not draw back like dreamers. I must not withdraw back from following you. Pray and talk to the Lord. Tell him to hold your hands. Lord, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Yeah, Lord. Hold my hands. Make me stand, Lord. Make me stand. Tell him to make you stand. I've got a long way to go. I've got a long way to go. Lord, make me stand. Make me stand. Hold my hands and make me stand. Hold my hands and make me stand. Hold my hands and make me stand. Pray and talk to the Lord. Tell him to hold your hands. Tell him to hold your hands. Tell him to hold your hands. Father, make me stand. Make me stand, oh Lord. Make me stand. Make me stand. Make me stand. Make me stand. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Second Samuel chapter twenty two. Second Samuel twenty two. Please I need someone to wait for us. Speak louder. Let me hear you please. Second Samuel twenty two reading from verse seven. Second Samuel twenty two they are reading from verse seven. Amen. I called upon the Lord and cried to my God, and he did hear my my sister, I just couldn't I just couldn't hear you well. Your voice is not loud. Second Samuel twenty two verse seven. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried to my God, and he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. From the passage, our sister, our mommy, I've just read to us now. In my distress, I cried 
upon the Lord and cried to my God. And he did hear my voice out of his temple. And my cry did enter into what is here. David was the one appreciating God here. Yeah. If you know what the enemy did to David, if you know what Saul did to David, David was actually appreciating God here, yeah. thanking God because Saul did not kill him. Saul did not bring evil upon his life. Saul did not tarnish his image. And... Uh, we are, you know, approaching the end of the year. Today is the seventh day, if I'm not mistaken, yes, seventh day, you know, of, uh, of uh, December. Look at the journey so far, how God has helped you from January up to November, and now we are in December, and you are still alive. All the obstacles that the devil, the enemy brought, all the delays and barriers, all the arrows that the enemy threw at you, you will lift up your voice and say, God, I thank you. Thank you because I'm alive. Thank you because you never allowed my enemy to touch me. Lift up your voice and say, God, I thank you. Because you never gave the enemy chance over my life. You never gave the enemy chance over my family. You never gave the enemy chance over my children. You never gave the enemy chance over my life. You never gave the enemy chance over my spiritual life. Lift up your voice and pray and talk to the Lord. David here was appreciating God. David here was giving glory to God. David here was thanking God. Why not lift up your voice and say, God, I thank you? Why not lift up your voice and say, God, I thank you? Why not say, God, I thank you? Why not say, God, I thank you? Why not appreciate God for the good things he has done, for the wonderful things he has done, for the glory things he has done for me? God, I thank you. For keeping me this far, for protecting me this far, for the good things you have done, I thank you. Actually, before I called to join on the prayer line, I called around um, one fifty nine here in Nigeria, and before then, the Lord made me to know that somebody, you know, uh, is with us, that something happened. I don't know whom that person is, but something happened yesterday to the person, and the person is not happy because of what happened. There has been a kind of uh, un- unhappiness in the life, in the heart of that person. So where I sat... I was looking at my time that, oh, I will connect by one, one, uh, by two or one uh, fifty-nine, And then I was saying, God, what do I say today? We are, we are meeting again today. What do you want me to say? What do we say? It was in the process. I ran inside to bring my Bible, and I came, you know, I called. And the Lord brought me to this passage where we are just reading now, Second Samuel 22. I want to tell you, no matter what you have passed through, no matter what has happened, the year coming ahead of us, I'm praying for everybody on this prayer line, on my personal you know, devotion, I pray for everybody. I'm telling you, this coming year, that testimony you have been expecting, that testimony you have been believing, that testimony you have been admiring that God should do for you, I'm telling you, it will not fail you in the first six quarter of the year in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They are going to pray once again, you will, you will talk to the Lord. Look at last week, Thursday, we all shared testimony. Look at the testimonies that we all shared. Has God not been good to you? If this God has been good to you, how close are you to that God? Are you really close to God? Does God recognize you? Does he know you as the daughter? Does he know you as the son? Is your name written in the book of life? Lift up your voice and say, God, here I come before you. Here I come before you. I will dedicate my life to you today. I will consecrate my life to you today. I give my life to you once again today. Use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. Use me 
for your glory. Jesus, use me for your glory. I dedicate myself, my life, my body to you. Use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. I want to be used by your glory. Use me for 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 your glory. In verse 6, it said the souls of hell compassed me about the snares of death prevented me. Do you know that Saul had enough, a lot of opportunities to kill David? He had a lot of opportunities, but God never allowed you know, Saul to kill David. Likewise you. The enemy has got a lot of opportunities to kill you. They've got a lot of opportunities, but God never permitted them to kill you. Lift up your voice and say, God, I thank you. Thank you because you never gave the enemy opportunity to kill me. You never gave the enemy opportunity to kill my daughter, my son, my husband. I thank you because you never gave the enemy opportunity to kill my wife. You never gave the opportunity to the enemy to kill my people. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Oh, Lord, I thank you. I appreciate him because you never gave the enemy opportunity. Okay. I think we are having five more minutes to go. And um, I want every one of us to partake in what I'm about to say now. I want everyone to open this our Bible to Second Samuel 22, verse 1. Everybody, we are going to be reading it one after the other. Everybody, immediately when the first person reads and finish. The second person should quickly take over and read. The third yeah. person should please take over and read. The fourth person should please take over and read. No stopping. I will not make any announcement. Once I did not hear anybody talk again, I will come up and you know tell you people what the Lord asked me to say to you. First person, Second Samuel 22, verse 1. Please be fast reader. Please be fast about it. And David unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And David said unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the Son of Saul. And, and he said, unto okay. the Lord, the words of this in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And David I'm, spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And this is David spake unto the Lord the word of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And David speak unto the Lord the word of this song in the day that the Lord has delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. Think about your life today. 
David thought about his life, all that the Lord has done for him, he sang a song in verse 3 and 4. The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my eye tower and my refuge, my Savior. Thou savest me from violence. I will call on the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? So shall I be saved from my enemies. I want you to pray a very simple prayer now. Lord, as the year is coming to an end, put a song in my mouth. Give me a song that I will sing to cross over into the new year. Lord, give me a song. Put a song in my mouth. Look at what God did to David. David sang unto the Lord because of the deliverance God gave to David. Pray and talk to the Lord. Be silent about this. Lord, I need a new song in my life. Put a new song in my mouth, Lord. Give me a new song. Lift up your voice and pray and talk to the Lord. Lift up your voice. Say, God, Lord, give me God a new song. Lord, I need so a new song. The year is coming to an end. Lord, as this year is coming to an end, God, God, sit into the new year. Give me a new song. Put 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 a new song. Lift up your voice and pray and talk to the Lord. Tell him to give you a new Oh, Lord, my God. So <laughs> I want us to pray before we round up the prayer. Lift up your voice and begin to pray for all your children that you'll be taken to the December retreat. Pray as the Lord is blessing you, the Lord will bless them. As the Lord is doing wonders in the life of you parents, the Lord will do wonders in the life of those children. Why not lift up your voice and pray and talk to the Lord? As many children that will be coming for this retreat, Almighty God, Almighty God in heaven, we worship your holy name. We give glory to your holy name. We thank you because you're a loving father. Yeah. We thank you because you're a great God. Thank you for keeping each and every one of us alive to see this day. Thank you for the testimonies we have shared so far. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the breath of life. Thank you because you have not permitted the enemy to touch our life. Father, may your name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Despite all the evils that are flying in the day, flying in the night, you have never allowed any of those evil to perch on us. Lord, Amen. we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My God and my Father, as we have prayed, committing ourselves before you, oh Lord, I pray, you will help each and every one of us that in this Christian race, you will hold our hands to the very end in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Whatever temptation, 
whatever you know, trials that may want to come up along the line, that will want to make us to draw back, that will want to make us to deviate from following you, Oh, Lord, I pray you will help us that we will not draw back from following after you because of this, you know, this storm of life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, I lift up your people before you, whatever may be the challenge they are going through now, whatever they are looking up to you for, Lord, I'm asking you will intervene and not put a calm to the storm of their life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, I pray for that woman who is looking up to you, you know, that you touch her. Lord, as you touch that man that was lying down by the poor side for 38 years. Lord, I pray for this particular sister. I pray for this particular mommy. I pray for this particular woman that has always been with us on this prayer line. Lord, I pray, let our life be, you know, bring and attract a striking testimony to everyone on this prayer line in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray whoever that is with us having problem in the body, neither either having problem with the legs or having any problem on the on the waist, having problem on the high, having problem on any part of the body. Lord, you are the great, you are the mighty physician. You are the great physician. Lord, I pray you will begin to touch everybody in their various houses and put testimony in their mouths. You will heal them of all their plagues in Jesus' name. I'm asking, Lord Jesus, as the year is coming to an end, oh Lord, I pray, as your people have committed themselves to you, Put testimony in every family. Put testimony Amen. in every life. Lord, Amen. give them a testimony. Give them a new song. A song that will be in their mouth, in their life, in their family. Give them a new song in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I pray, Lord, every effort we have been making on this online prayer. As many of us that has been making, putting all our efforts, Lord, I pray, every effort we are making each day, all our efforts will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I am praying once again for that particular person looking up to you for miracles. What the doctors, what the doctors could not diagnose, what the doctors could not see, and what the doctors saw, and it's like you know they are being contemplating. Can it be this? Can it be that? Oh Lord, I pray you will send forth your angel right now into the family of that person and let healing begin to take place right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we'll be coming together next week, Thursday. Lord, I pray, even before we start the program, let there be sound of miracle. Let there be sound Amen. of joy. Let there be sound Amen. of virtue. Do it Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The church of God over there in Charlotte, Lord, I pray you will establish that church and your presence will not depart from that church. And the pastor you have put the Lord, you will fill him more with the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have done and answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, and God bless you all. Let's share the grace together, and do not let us forget Tuesday, uh, but, I mean, Thursday, God will help us as we are doing so in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the peace of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Sure. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. We meet on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Our sister, we are uh, that's coming to Charlotte. We are expecting you in Charlotte by the peace of the Lord. Thank you. God bless you all.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.